Okay, so in this video I will do a tutorial on how to use a new plugin for CoReader that you can use on all your devices that runs CoReader. It's called File Browser Plus for CoReader. I have already done a tutorial before that uh, installs the original File Browser plugin, but this is a better made File Browser plugin with more options. So let's go to my scene here. We have a Kindle Paperwhite that runs CoReader. And to be able to install a, a file browser CoReader plugin on this, we need to exit CoReader first. So first we wake this up. And from here we go up in the top and go to this hamburger menu and choose exit and choose exit again. The reason why you should exit CoReader is because uh, you need to connect this to a computer to be able to install that plugin. And uh, Kindle, Amazon has uh, protected their devices. You, you can't connect your devices as easy anymore. So if you have a co-reader running, you can't connect with a cable. So if you exit like this, you can connect it to a computer. Let's find a cable to connect it to my Mac. Like so. Now it should show this and that means that it's connected to my Mac. Now we go over to my computer by going to my desktop cam. Here we have my desktop. Now we open a web browser like this. So here we have the plugin that you should download and install. This could be very hard to find actually. So uh, to find this, uh, you will have a link down below in the description text on this video and also a link to that on my website. Uh, so by finding it, you need to go to GitHub and search for File Browser Plus plugin for CoReader. But as I said, if you do it in Google, we, it's very hard to find just this exact version. So click on my link instead to be sure to have the right project in GitHub. So here it is. With the file browser web interface, you can upload, download or delete files, edit text files directly, preview images as you see there. You can easily manage files, ebooks, configuration files wirelessly from your phone or your computer directly on your ebook reader. And here is how to install it. So we go to download the zip file from the release page. We go there. And here we have the latest version at the top. We download this, as you see here. Now I have downloaded it, but we can continue reading here. So this is for the normal use for Kobo devices and uh, Kindle devices. But if you need it for another kind of device, you need to choose another version and so on. And that is uh, more advanced. So you need to download appropriate pre-compiled file browser binary for your device from the file browser release page. So if you can't find the right version on the first page, you can find the right version for your ebook reader here. If you have an Android based e reader, for example, that you want to have this file browser on, maybe you should use the ARM64 then, for example. Uh, so, but we have downloaded the normal basic version, the, the the version that most of the people will use. Uh, so, and that is from the release page. Now we should go to unzip the archive. Uh, on a Mac, you don't need to do that, but on a Windows machine, you need to unzip the archive because on a Mac, it does that automatically. And after that, we will move that folder to the directory plugins in CoReader on your ebook reader. So now I go into my file browser on my Mac. 
So here we see the file browser co-plugin folder that is unzipped from the zip file. As I said, on a Windows machine you need to unzip the file yourself. So when you have unzipped the zip file, you will have this folder. So if I open this folder, you see the plugin and everything here. So this is the folder that you should move to your ebook reader. So if we now go to my Kindle and open that in a new tab in my file browser, here we have now my Kindle Paperwhite, and here we see the co reader folder. I go into that, and here we have a plugin folder there. I open that folder because this folder should be dragged and dropped into that folder or copied and pasted on a Windows machine. Uh, so if I drag this and release it, it will now be copied to that plugin folder on my Kindle. So if we now are looking in alphabetical order, maybe we will see the File Browser Plus co-plugin here. Here is the normal old File Browser plugin and here is the new File Browser plugin. So now we have basically installed the File Browser plugin. Now we should just exit the Kindle device from your computer by choosing Eject there. And after it has ejected, we will go back to my table cam or my scene. We take the scene cam here. Now we should unplug the cable. By the way, it works the same exactly if you have a Kobo device. Uh, the only difference is that uh, you need to find the plugin folder on your Kobo in another way maybe, because you need to see hidden files and go into ads first and then find a co-reader folder and in that folder you have plugins folder. But I have a lot of videos on my channel showing how you install stuff on your Kobo too, so go check them out if you are unsure on how to find a co-reader plugin folder on your Kobo. So now we will start co-reader again by going to Qual and from Qual we Choose co-reader, start co-reader. Now, co-reader will start, will take a while. And now I will choose to have my glasses because I need to see a bit better. Uh, so now we have started co-reader. Now we should find the plugin. So we go up here and go into the gear and we go into network. And from network, we will find the File Browser Plus, as you see there. File Browser Plus. Here is the old File Browser plugin, but here is the new File Browser Plus. We go into File Browser Plus configurations. We can start the File Browser Plus server immediately. We can change the port. We can change the data path. Here is set to root on your Kindle or your ebook reader. We can reset the admin user password. We can log in without password. Dangerous, it says, but uh, to be honest with you, I think if you are using a local network and only have local connection available on your network, then it's quite safe to be used without password. But maybe some users are afraid of that. If you have an unsure network connection at home, then you should always use a password. Uh, we can start a file browser plus server with co-reader. So, if you choose the last part, it will always start a file browser when you start co-reader on your ebook reader. So it will run in the background always. But uh, we can start it by doing this. Now the file browser plus server are started and it started on the port 80. It started with my EPA address 
local network IP address, so that is not uh, something uh, that is a secret. So now you should just go to this address on a computer. Quite easy. Or on a phone or on a tablet or whatever. So that's quite easy. So now I should try that, of course. So one huge uh, drawback with this new File Browser Plus server plugin is that uh, it doesn't show you the IP address as long as it needed. Sometimes if you don't know the address before and can't uh, do a note with it, then you need to uncheck File Browser Plus server and check it again to see the rest of the IP address that you didn't wrote down on a paper or so. But here we should add uh, the IP address in a web browser, as you see here, the IP address that you get from the File Browser Plus server. And in the end, it should say colon 80, because I choose the put 80. So here we have, now we should log in. And the default username is admin. And the default password is admin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Of course, you can change this to whatever you like in the settings in your file browser plus server, as I showed you before. You can reset the admin user password and do whatever you want. So now if I log in, I will see all my files and folders in my Kindle Paperwhite. Quite nice. Here you see the File Browser Plus plugin and you see all my files. You can create folders, you can create files, you can do settings here. Uh, allow different users to sign up. You can add more users than yourself and you can do a lot of cool stuff here. As you see, uh, profile settings, share management, global settings, user management, my files. Here, for example, I can go into Mount. It's a Kindle, so you need to go into Mount and US. Here we should, should see co-reader folder, for example. So here we have the co-reader folder. I have all my books. We can go into fonts and on new fonts. We can do plugins. And here we have all the plugins. We see the new File Browser Plus co-plugin, for example. So for example, I can now remove this plugin because I don't want that anymore. So I can choose that and delete it. Yes. So now I only have one File Browser Plus co-plugin here. That's quite nice. I want to have this as a uh, favorite folder. I wonder how I do that. I wonder how I do that. We maybe go out here and right click on it. Nope. Uh, I would like to have this out here in my bar out there, but maybe I can't. Well, I can do a lot with this. Instead of having a cable to my Kindle, I can have this quite easy. And it's an excellent way now to have the exact same binary EPUB file when I'm using Readers to sync with my iPhone with CoReader. So if I have a file on my iPhone, a book file, an EPUB file, I can be sure to send that file by using this in my browser on my iPhone and send that file, that book, to my co-reader folder, uh, book folder. Here we have my book folder. So if I want to have the exact right file added to my Kindle that I have on my iPhone, because readers sync, need to have the exact same binary file between my co-reader devices and my iPhone to be able to sync everything I read in Readest and co-reader. 
So this is an excellent plugin to do all the stuff totally wirelessly from a phone, from a computer, from a tablet and send and delete files on your Kindle Paperwhite. You can add everything totally, totally wirelessly. That's awesome. I can add fonts wirelessly from my sofa using my phone, for example. I can go into this font file from my phone and add new fonts, for example, if I want. Works great. So I can highly recommend installing this. So that is how easy it is to install the File Browser Plus plugin on your Kindle and have a lot of new settings on it. You can uh, reset your password, set another password and so on. You can choose which port, you can choose everything you want and you can choose with which path it should start immediately. So as I said in the video, I would like to have the co-reader folder start immediately. Then I can change that in the path path on the file browser plus server configuration so i can add the co-reader path to it so i don't need to search for it every time so every time i start a file browser server it will go to my co-reader folder immediately that would be nice to do and i can do that now so i think this plugin is awesome and i can highly recommend everyone to check the link down below in the description text to where you find it and then follow this tutorial to install it it's very easy and you can do the same on all your devices running co-reader so you can use it on your kobo your kindle your uh, weewoods you can use it on your um, uh, onyx books devices your bigme devices or whatever so that's nice okay bye